Waikiki bears little resemblance today to the place it was in the late 1800s and early 1900s. It's hard to imagine that the Waikiki we know now was at one time mostly swampland. In the Hawaiian language, the name Waikiki means spouting fresh water. It was given this name because of the streams and springs that fed the wetlands. Back in 1794, Waikiki was the setting for the beginning of one of Hawaii's most historic battles. King Kamehameha I and his army arrived from the Big Island and stormed Waikiki Beach. He and his men then headed for Nu'uwanu, where they proceeded to take on Oahu's chief, Kalani Kupule, and his men. King Kamehameha's forces proved to be superior as they forced the Oahu warriors to retreat up the valley, where they were driven off the steep pali cliffs to their deaths. During the time of the monarchy, Waikiki was enjoyed by many Hawaiian royals. Aina Hau was an estate in Waikiki belonging to Princess Victoria Kaiulani Cleghorn, who was half Hawaiian and half Scottish. Had she survived pneumonia, she would have succeeded Queen Lili'u Okalani to claim the throne of the Kingdom of Hawaii. In the 1800s, bathhouses served as the first hotels in Waikiki as they began offering rooms for overnight stays. The Moana, the tallest building in the state at that time, was Waikiki's first resort. It opened in 1901 and to this day remains a prominent feature along Waikiki's iconic coastline. In the 1920s, the Alawai Canal was built to drain the area of its swamps and rivers. In 1927, another one of Waikiki's famous landmarks, the Royal Hawaiian, opened its doors to visitors. Through the decades, this pink hotel has attracted entertainers, royalty, and tourists from all around the world. Hotel construction was halted briefly during World War II when the hotels were closed to visitors so they could accommodate the servicemen. Today, as you look out over the blue waters of Waikiki, it's hard not to notice the throngs of people canoeing, stand up paddling, swimming, and surfing. However, by the end of the 19th century, Surfing had diminished not only in Waikiki, but throughout Hawaii. Once a sport enjoyed by native Hawaiians, surfing was discouraged with the arrival of missionaries in the 1800s. Duke Paoa Kahanamoku and three haole, or foreigner men, Jack London, Alexander Hume Ford, and George Freeth, were instrumental to the sport's rebirth. Kahanamoku was one of Hawaii's best ocean watermen, being a famous surfer and Olympic swimmer. He was a true beach boy and one of the founders of the Hui Nalu Club, an informal surf club started in 1905. Today, Waikiki is the vehicle that keeps Hawaii's economy moving forward. It is recognized as the playground of the Pacific, a lively place of pristine white sand beaches, tropical sunsets, world class hotels, fine dining, shopping, and amazing nightlife. In addition, Waikiki also boasts the Waikiki Aquarium, the Honolulu Zoo, and the beautiful 500 acre Kapi'olani Park. There's something for everyone in this Pacific playground, and best of all, everything is within walking distance.